happened this morning. You know that? Were you in here? No. So then nothing happened to you this morning? Yeah, you're right. I just woke up and you were so sweet and nice. We were not even fighting this morning. All I did was say sorry. Did something happen to you this morning? I don't think so. That's the thing. You want to see crazy? I'll give you fucking crazy. Which crazy? Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah, have you drunk this whole thing this morning? Oh, you got this going. You got this going. I just started it. Oh, really? Yes. Really? You that shit on me? No, the fuck? I didn't. You were smashing shit. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You fucking... What about all the other times you split? It, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not... Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence. And that you do it and meet like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. Not done this to you. I have not said these things to you. Wait. I have not started the fight by saying then I'm gonna get in another room. And I'm not gonna sit here and fight about fucking Toronto anymore. Guess what? I let it go. I'm not fucking about I'm not fucking talking about Toronto. Send I can me the it. tapes. I can whisper it, I can write it. Guess what? I'm not saying another fucking word about Toronto. I'm so sick and tired of fucking fighting about old fights. This is not about a fight. This is broad. This is a broad thing. And if I'm telling you every single time you get dressed and you fucking split the top of a fight, you never fucking try and work it out, you never fight for me, you never come to me, you never self-calm, you never self-soothe, you're never the one to throw the olive branch, I'm sick and tired of it, it needs to fucking change. And you can go, I can't meet those demands, I can't do it, or you can fucking promise me so I have a modicum of safety, I feel a modicum of respect, a little tiny shit sliver of fucking like, you are in this whether it is good or bad, whether it is good or bad, down and up, lows and highs, tough and easy. Dead. No, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't punch you, and by the I... way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I know. Yeah, no, I when you fucking have a closed you fist. Get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. You can't. I don't know deck what me. the motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your I, toes? I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's you, the difference between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are fights. Such a baby. Because you, the fuck up, because you start physical fights. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time that After we had last night. After you fucking got physically violent with me, I texted Traps. I said, "Come up here," because I, I didn't want anything come to, to happen. I mean, yeah. Come, mm -hmm. come to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Traps to the rescue. That, Nobody. No. Go jerk him off. I don't care. A few moments later. He was about to push my sister down the stairs. She was attempting to break us up. I am protective over my baby sister. When he laid hands on her, I don't know what I did. But I know I jumped in between the actions that I saw could lead to a fatal injury to my sister. She was standing on the top of a flight of the stairs and she has never hurt anyone in her life and she does not deserve to be pushed down the flight of stairs. And it looked like she was about to be. And I would have done what anybody who has a child or a sister would have done. I acted defensively in her life. I saw her standing on top of a flight of his stairs and trying to interrupt a fight in between him and I. 
I don't know what part of my body I, I put in between me and him and, and her. But I would have done anything. I would have done anything to prevent her from being pushed on a flight of stairs. Fucking bitch ass nigga from Germany. Uh, I just wanted to make an apology video for the video that's been spreading around. What I said is wrong and does need to be defended. What I said was not right in any way and should not be used by my mouth or anyone else's. I just wanted to apologize to everyone in the TikTok community. I'm sorry. And I want to apologize to the black community as well. I'm sorry. I made an apology on Instagram not too long ago, but I wanted to make sure that people on TikTok were able to see it as well. I've learned a few valuable lessons from this, such as to not speak poorly out of anger and to be kind to all. We are all human and we all mess up and make mistakes and we need to grow from our mistakes and acknowledge them. Thank you for your time. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Uh, I think it's the bravery that helps you beat this game called life. You know, they try to scare me to not wear this hat, my own friends. But this hat, it gives me it gives me power in a way. You know, my dad and my mom separated, so I didn't have a lot of male energy in my home. And also, uh, I'm married to a family that, um, you know, <laughs> not a lot of male energy going on. It's beautiful, though. But there's times where, you know, it's something about, you know, I love Hillary. I love everyone. How dare you? I have decided in 2020 to run for president. When Harriet Tubman, well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for other white people. Y'all, we leaving right now. My mom saved my life. My dad wanted to afford me. My mom saved my life. There would have been no Kanye West because my dad was too busy. Hey. It's not funny. <laughs> Allegedly, Jeffree Star has been sleeping with Kanye West, um, and that's why they're getting a divorce. Correct! COVID recap with Kelly. Asshole, you beat the shit out of my daughter. I can get you taken out of here today. Stupid ass thing you always say. I wish because then you. she would fuck you. I told you that. You don't fucking listen. No, what the fuck is wrong with you? When you get coronavirus from the president, we got, everybody got coronavirus from somebody who f was flew in for that event. That's not true. You didn't get coronavirus from the president. You're wrong. If you only knew what people thought of you, you don't know. Because they know you've got other problems. They'll take you, by the way. The only place that'll take you that you weren't going to post about your family anymore. You just lie to everyone and everybody sees it. Everyone sees it. You're a grateful bitch. And since you're lucky, your mom's pro-life. Fuck you! I thought it was over! It's over! I thought we had who's following you, dumb it! I'm never gonna record another fucking thing in your life. It's going for a forensic analysis. One fucking bit for you to tell people I'm a bitch. What? 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 There's something wrong with you. Yeah, you're there mocking is. me. You think I'm mocking you? I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Do you know what you've done to yourself? Do you know what you've done to yourself? 15. No. You're fucking immature. Free to get it all over the sheets that I cleaned. Can you stop? No, you don't ignore me. Asshole. I text them all day long. And they're paying attention to you because they know that you need extra help. What'd you call me? What do you want to know? Hypo? Hyper. No, I said hyper. The doctor's hypo. What do you want to know? Hypo? Hyper. No, I said hyper. Send my mom 
Holmes! Can you please, Mom? No, you please! I want you out of here! You were making you mad. Some 15 fucking year old made you mad. She's upset. She's been upset for weeks because we had a tough call with her school. They basically told her. Last night I saw she had been upset. The she facts. She came down at 1 30 in the morning. At that point, I've been up for 22 hours. I wish to be your mother. So let's go to family therapy. And sh and I want to do that. I would like to do that. And we talked about it. called that night and texted me and said, I'm sure your sister's 11th birthday. Not really. The people on TikTok who built her up. She went through a very hard time right before you were here on November 2nd. They tried, they wanted to cancel her because she had a party and they didn't see enough masks. And they said, people are jealous of her. We love her. I was here when I called her. Listen, so she can, I can't have our, our private well, quarters. You know, you know how it happens? Get rid of the phone, get rid of the internet, get rid of all that. I pay for, I pay for my phone. Take, yeah, yeah, I don't pay for my computer. That's the school. So you can take that, but I pay for my phone. I bought this. And then the next part is? I and, pay for it. You can't take it. Leave, let her go to this came out of nowhere. This it didn't. It's been happening. Apparently, um, that's real. And so here's what I guess happened. The pictures were months ago, and I'm assuming that when my mom took my phone, um, anytime she's taken it, because she takes it all the time, she took a picture of that. So that was on her phone. Um, and I guess she accidentally posted it or somebody hacked her, but nobody ever, nobody would ever have any photo like that ever um so kellyanne you're going to fucking jail today you go to jail you just said that. because you posted a nude photo of me you just you just said uh, i should go to jail you just said bill let, let me speak to you for a minute stop ow what the fuck Guys, it's so sad. She's literally, she's literally mad because I'm on my phone. That you it's can't scary. even call 911. It's literally scary. Claudia, You're scared. Claudia, you, Claudia, if you want this situation to come to the point, I think you want to put it down. Put it down. She's not. I'm standing here. I've asked you to put the phone down. Let it face the same in case he comes on out and be like, see if yeah, it's legal. You're going to start learning what's legal and what's not legal instead of making it up and getting your legal advice on TikTok. Okay? Those days are over. Just so you know, <laughs> yes. um, a knife in New Jersey did a full investigation, no finding. CPS Washington, D.C., full investigation. Here's yeah, they happened. work for you, cunt. I think this is the night she just has to go, George. She has, I'm trending on Twitter. Stop, stop talking to me. She's telling people. She's so upset. She's trying to do it. posted my news on her Twitter today. Listen. No, he, has he has nothing to do with this right now, okay? Yeah. Um, but, but in Washington, D.C., all three of the other kids had to be interviewed. My mother, who saw her all the way through the interview, who lives with the sound. You are actively gaslighting them right These now. are the facts. You just need to know what the Metropolitan Police Department did. They were involved. Child Protective Services were involved. No finding whatsoever. She diverted resources away from kids who, who really are in need. Then it happened here she has Jersey called the summer. police, she does. They show up and then their rich white her Republican her parents, parents just fucking know them and they don't do anything. Her mother, by name, she had gotten to fight with him. I'm not living this way anymore, guys. It, it I'm pretty sure she's on TikTok tonight telling me I will be arrested. I should be arrested. You posted a nude photo of I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. There's nobody proof. nobody intentionally posted anything of you. There is no new photo of you. You just like the officers that quote millions of people saw you on Carmelo. This was posted by one person who had eight followers and had 32 comments. That's what he told you. Now you're lying to them that millions of people saw it. They didn't see it. That's why you're trending. Listen to me. People saw that. She's trying to blame her for trending. And literally, the, the parents came to her. In the first place is what's concerning. And if you can do whatever you want with me now, but you will end up in jail if you keep lying about the parents come to her and they're like, it's your fault. Um, you're threatening your mom's life. That's why we're sending you away to jail. So what are you going to do? You're going to get me arrested for that? What are you going to do? And she goes, how am I threatening her life? And they go, because she, um, she's going to go to jail. Yeah, she knows I'm live. She asked me to go live. I would never, ever, ever without... But like, fuck Kellyanne Conway. I want the experience of like game days, partying, 
I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. <laughs> Judge sentenced her to two months in prison for her role in the college admission scandal. Mediocre must you be mm. if you have to game a system that disproportionately advantages you anyway. Right. I mean, that's how I was, uh, you know, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Aunt Becky's husband talked crap about ASU, okay? And at Arizona State University is where the McCain Institute for International Leadership is partnershiped with ASU. Aunt Becky's husband, whatever, whoever the hell you are, I have no idea who you were until yesterday, sorry. Your kid probably wouldn't have been good enough to have even gotten into ASU, And I want okay? Becky with a good hair to go to jail. If they couldn't get into a school, I would never want to use privilege to try to force them into a situation that they wouldn't thrive in anyway. I just don't have the energy mm -hmm. to put into the fact that you lost your endorsements. Mm -hmm. Right. You right. know, or you're not in school right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be okay because your parents are going to go in and they're going to do their 60 days and they're going to pay their fine and you guys will go on and you'll be okay and you will live your life. Right. Yeah. And there's so many of us that it is not going to be that situation. Yeah. It just makes it very difficult right now for me to care. Do you have any understanding of I why I would be upset at, at your being here and, and what you all did?